was. I did quit. You did? I did. Yay, cats. Past tense. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, here we are. Belshir, no. Whirlwind, bottom right hand location. We have the Blue Protoss player. He's Night End. Very well known. His opponent, the bottom left, Derps. We established he is a Masters player. Um, so we could have a close game here. What do you think? Initial thoughts on these positions? Um, well, I think the positions on, on Whirlwind are sort of irrelevant. Obviously, Zerg would rather have cross, but yeah. other than that, it's it's always going to be the same. So um, the, the one thing that does change is that uh, y you want to expand away from your opponent. Yes. So you don't want to take that, that, that third that looks more like a third, but you want to take the other one. Um, and that's the only thing that's probably going to change for Derps in his game plan. Night End getting lucky with a, with a scout, and Derps getting unlucky with a scout. So. You wait, you don't like the... Sorry, uh, the chat was distracting me. You don't like what? They're crazy. Um, no, I'm saying I'm saying Derps got a little bit unlucky with the Overlord scout, and Night End scouted him first. Uh. So. Because like, because be nice. typically on on whirlwind you'd want to get away with the fifteen hatch, right? But then when a probe scout you first, it's like that kind of, that's not as guaranteed as it could be. Uh, yeah, perhaps. A lot of people still don't go fifteen hatch, but uh, some do. Derps is gonna get his hatch blocked here, so he better continue to produce drones. He's not making them right now, and he uh... he, he kind of has to make at least one more drone. There it is. Um, uh... he he will want um. Up to four links if the, if the if the probe drop drops a pylon and otherwise um, just a couple or none. Oh, manages to drop down the hatchery. Wow. We'll see if Derps uh, reacts accordingly. He is making a couple links, but just a couple for now. He needs to find out where his opponent is so he can make his hatchery in the middle left. Um, yeah. Well, I, I'm assuming he needs to spot the gateway first, though. But what do you think about drone scouting in this situation? Because like, how can you really find? Because like, he's gonna scout in the bottom right. And he's gonna see no natural there, but if its opponent's not even there and his opponent's cross position, like that doesn't even matter. Or does he know based on the probe scout that his opponent is in the bottom right and he's gonna see this lack of a natural and he's gonna know it's a one base expand? Correct. Uh, just just based off of the scout timing, he okay. should induce that he cannot be cross positions because no one scouts cross. Um, so he, he did get scouted first and he has to know that. I mean, the probe is so ridiculously fast, even if you send one of your first six probes. Uh, from cross positions, it wouldn't get there as fast as this one got got there. So you can see the links were already heading there um, yep. before the overlord cool. spotted. Yeah. Okay, so he now knows it's one base play. Getting speed or getting gas, which is very standard when you when you spot this one base play, you want that speed to be active to fend off against any early shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What are these links looking for right now? You think? Um. Well, if it was me, I'd be looking for the number of gases. Yeah. Um, and the number of gases is pretty much going to be a tell in terms of uh, what the Protoss can be, can, can do, and how aggressive he can be, and how how fast. If the Protoss was on one gas, then he could have uh, he could he could be throwing extra gateways and be hitting really early. Um, right now, he's he's throwing the gateways indeed, but uh, his uh, his warp gates got, got a little bit to go still. Um, so yeah, he's, that's probably, he's be chrono boosting it. Does he have a probe anywhere? Oh, he's a probe at the the top left there, outside of where his opponent's third base would be. Yeah, um, I mean, it, it would be an inefficient build that I don't expect tonight from Night End if he didn't make sentries. Uh, whereas the other attack would have, would already be hitting with zealots uh -huh. uh, right now. So like that's the, the one gas. So uh, Derps basically knows that if there's going to be an attack, probably going to be like a sentry with Mothership Core uh, push. But it's I, I'd say it's more likely that Nighten just uh, takes a third from here. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. The Warp Gates are just now finishing up. No additional progression in tech, like no Robo, no Stargate, no Forge. So, you know, I'm, I'm starting to agree with you. A Pylon being warped in at that location in the middle left of the probe. Checking on the status of that third. Yep. Third isn't there. So he's spotting a lack of a third. What is the Protoss thinking now? Yeah, the, he, he's thinking he's, he probably wants to tech now. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Stargate or a Robo going down soon. And there's the gases. So that's a pretty good indicator that that's what he's going to do. Um, you know, as a Protoss player, you don't want to take your third before the Cirque takes his third. 
And at the same time, uh, this little attack that uh, the knight in this is doing right now is the, the sign to deny a third that uh, at the last time he scouted, Derbs didn't have. So right now, knight in this is catching a little bit of a break, getting a little bit lucky. Um, Derbs could have been taking on two base. And he would not have only not forced that cancel, but also warped in a, a bunch of cells that he probably didn't need. Yep. And the beauty of this is he can just recall if he ever feels scared, because uh, he has oh, that yeah. mothership core there. Um, and and yeah. again, he's like identifying, okay, the third isn't here, it's not happening. And now he can kind of keep an eye on his opponent's unit comp, seeing a bunch of lings. So he can kind of be guessing, okay, where are you going from here? He doesn't see any roaches. Yeah. Which is actually a little bit problematic, I think. I think you you might want Roaches against this kind of a push, but looks like he might have enough lings to, to cause Night End to be a little bit tentative here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what Night End is, is doing right now is basically forcing units out. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised to, to see him warp in a few more a uh, few more salads. Um He's happy with what what he's done here. He's getting get ready to recall if he has to, but. Uh, you know, if you if you look at the at the drone count right now, or the or the worker count, it's uh, yep. night and this nine workers ahead. That's a terrible position for a Zerg to be in at this point in the game. Uh, he will have the better upgrades, but that's about it. He was forced into making this many links, and uh, night and uh, smartly worked in an extra round of cells, even though he had already the night the third. And uh, again, I wouldn't be surprised to, to see him more more. Oh my He's god. Big, oh, god. Oh, oh one more force field. field. It did, yeah. I, I think he had no energy for it. I think it was just barely yeah. didn't have enough energy. Got a recall now. Yeah. Okay. Have you, don't look at units lost. Guess what it says. Uh, I'm guessing none for 9 net. Oh, maybe, maybe he lost a probe. So 50. And then um, I'm going to say 500. Okay, you can look now. Oh wow, I'm bad. No, you're close. He killed. I think he killed like two pylons for some reason in his own main base. So it's actually two units lost for night end. So you're close in that, but no, Derp's lost a lot there. Chat yeah, girl. But that was a fun little game. Thanks for participating, cats. No problem. <laughs> Hive on the way. We got pathogen glands on the way as well. Two two. Kind of weird. I think. I guess. I'm, I'm I'm wondering about the hive choice. Well, he's definitely w gonna want to go into ultras. Well, that's uh, the thing. He doesn't have, he doesn't have the gases, and if he's making passion glands, that means he wants to make infestors. If he's making some infestors, he doesn't have enough gas for ultras. You know? Yeah, the the pathogen glands are a little bit strange. I I'll, I'll agree with that absolutely. Okay. So um, yeah, maybe it's just something for later that if he wants, he can. He has the option to, and he'll still just go straight into ultras, kind of a thing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I honestly have no idea. Let's see, he he has no investors in production either. So this this is a really odd choice. It's kind of like, it's kind of like he's not adapting too well to how the game's going. Perhaps he has a build that works out fine if he took the third when he wanted to take a third. But uh, as is, I mean, everything's going bad for Derbs right now. This this style when you're making this many links with with heavy upgrades, yeah. you actually want to deny the Protoss his third. And uh, instead, the Protoss has been denying his third. And, uh, he's, he's in a pretty awkward spot right now. And it all starts with that that early push. Um, you know, when you see that sentry stuff coming, and, and you want to keep that third safe, let's say you're in Derb's position, how do you kind of change the way you play to, to be able to be more cost efficient against that and keep your third alive? Well, like you said before, uh, Roaches are, yeah. are pretty good units against that. Um, Otherwise, perhaps taking the third a little bit earlier so that there's creep already there uh, to defend it. For instance, when I scout um, double gas, I like to go for a three hatch before pool. And what this, what what it does is it, it allows me to get more queens faster uh, and more uh, more creep there. Uh, queens are also another way the, to to do it. Now this is a fake loss. This is pretty dangerous, but not really by night end. He's he's trying to force out more units, trying to tell Derbs, hey. I got a Colossus, you cannot engage me. If that hallucinated Colossus is not in the army, then Derbs can run in with all those links and then Nighten Night has to recall. Instead, Nighten thinks he's forcing units out of Derbs, but uh, really Derbs is making Ultras. So this is actually not a bad, not a bad thing for Derbs. No, uh, like Nighten made, made a, a pretty crucial mistake here to 
I think he identifies that this is this is the link into Ultra build, and uh, yet he's going into Colossus. He made DTs um, too, or he's trying to make them work. But yeah, and, and this may not work for him. The DTs. I agree. There, I there agree. are spoons. Uh, we'll we'll see if if the if if Derps can shut down the DTs, oh. then he could be in a really good spot. Oh, got a recall. Yep, definitely. But uh, but at the same time, the DTs are doing their job. Uh, so. That, that that was completely worth it for night end, I think. So interestingly no. enough, there was an overseer earlier, so I think Derps did identify that was hallucinated uh, Colossus, which is kind of interesting. Um, but the funny thing is, uh, night end is going into double Colossi production behind this, which yeah. I, don't, I don't know how good that is against soldiers necessarily. But it's all about just securing the third, I guess, and denying your opponent's stuff. And right now, again, we said it, the DTs are. They're kind of having fun right now. Yeah, th this is a really odd choice by Night End. Uh, okay, he's now starting to produce mortals okay, behind okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. I was wondering about that. Yeah. That's that's definitely what you want, uh, what you need. Because like obviously the Colossi you're gonna want, because they're really good against the Lings, the Infestors. But you're, you're you kind of uh -huh. have to have the immortals in there to deal with the Ultras. All yeah, have the micro, right? Um. Personally, as a, as a Zerg, you know, speaking as a Zerg player, I I, uh, I I I think the the harder the harder to counter than than going Colossus is just uh, well properly micro immortals, and he he already has Archons, which serve the same purpose as the Colossus here, right? Um, charge lots are fantastic against Links as well, mm -hmm. so I think the Colossus are a, a big investment that may end up uh, not paying up. But in, in this particular game, I mean, he's 50 supply ahead. It's it's gonna be pretty tough for uh. Well, their how, make. how disastrous do you think fungals would be if there weren't colossus here? Oh oh wait, if oh. he can fungal and blinding cloud, this could be huge actually. He that's, does have a viper out. That's too much micro for me to to me for me to do. But let's see if derps can figure it out. I mean, he, he has a viper out. I, I can't I I, I can't yeah, imagine he's gonna wanna you know abduct Duck. one of those units. Um, and and obviously the investors have to work have to be used for fungal here. I love the this zealot swinging Titan. around. Go ahead, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's very nice. Uh, definitely, definitely something Night End wants to get rid of some some of those minerals that he's he's loading. Yeah, and he is approaching Max. He's also taking a fourth behind this, just looking for some cost efficient engagements. A few zealots wrapping around the the wrong way. It looks like. Look at this Colossus doing a lot of damage to those links. Yeah, lots of queens here. This is this is pretty dangerous for for Derps. He's having a hard time dealing with all the cell stuff. He lost the base at the top, and he's gonna lose a lot of stuff at his main. He's again when you're going speedlings, it's against three three zealots, charge lots even. The rest of your army isn't gonna be that mobile, so it's tough. But he's gonna try to get an engagement here on the Colossus Arcan army. He can just recall out though. Uh, oh, that's gonna be fine in cloud though. There's the, the idea is there. So um, if you fumble, can the mothership course still? The Mushroom Court yeah, should be called. Yeah, I yeah? believe okay. so. Yeah. yeah. Now, if he had abducted the Mushroom Court and then fungled and then binding the binding that was sick. Right? Yeah. You, you abduct the Mushroom Court so it can't recall, or so you kill it so you can't recall. But the problem is, look at his main. Look at Derps' main. Yeah, it's 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 really a shame because um, he he definitely has the idea of of how to control the army. Yeah. Uh, um. You know, you know, he wants he wants to do the right thing here. It's he's just having a really tough time keeping up with Night End um, on a mechanic level, it seems. Yeah, I we in the past two minutes we've seen three hatcheries die, one of them being a hive infestation pit gone, two evolution chambers gone, spawning pool gone, infestation pit gone. I don't even know what Derps has the ability to make right now, except not can he make a unit right now? Drones. Oh my god. And that last hatchery might just die right now. Tough luck. Oh no, the infestor is dying. It's a fungal. Oh, great fungal. A oh, oh. oh! He almost got it. He almost got it. And that could have been huge. That could have been what he needed there. Uh, if he could have cleared that army, at least he somewhat gets back into the game. But, uh. GG. Night End actually killed every hatchery. Yeah. <laughs> um, Nothing much you can do there once that happens. Um, yeah. Like really, what a what 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 a 
it's it's like a surgeon or something, you know? It's like he's he just started killing hatcheries and killed every tech building ever. It's by the end, Derbs had absolutely nothing but his army yeah. against just couldn't keep up. Um, really, really, Night End showing uh, the the great caliber of player that he is. Yeah. Uh, really well played. A lot of interesting decisions there, you know, going for the DTs, it worked out for sure. Um, and then the Colossus, but... You know, I feel like it was one of those games where the pacing of his third compared to his opponent, it's like he can make pretty much anything as long as he stays on top of his macro and makes units. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fine. No matter what tech choice he really goes for.